having some random thoughts. And before you decide, choose for yourself, you know. But here's the thing about YouTube videos. If you choose to come along and you're disappointed, it didn't cost you a dang thing, right? But anyway, I was just having some thoughts, some random thoughts, and I thought I might share. I'm sketching over to my nearby town, um, Greenville, which I saw on Instagram that one of my followers, <clears throat> the raw trucker lady, I think is what she goes by, I, I saw where she was posting some things and she was over there. And girlfriend, if you're moving there, we're having lunch, do you understand? Because I'm in dire need of real friends, like real friends that I can hug. And, and I'm gonna warn you that I might squeeze you. It might be a little tight, but it won't be too tight. You'll, you'll be able to breathe, it'll be okay. So anyway, she, um, that's where I, I've been seeing some clips of things over there. And anyway, I'm over there every week, like several times. And um, so yeah. So anyway, there are some just random chats. I was just telling my daughter, my daughter was like, um, what you doing, what doing? And I said, oh, I'm fixing to do this. I said, I've been on, on the ball today. I've, I've done several videos, recipes, blah, 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 all the stuff I've done, you know? And um, she was like, yeah. She said, I'm going to the grocery store. I said, oh, my favorite place. She said, well, not mine. I was like, why not? She said, well, when it's your last penny. I said, it's always my last penny. It's, I've always been on a grocery budget and a budget to where it didn't budget in groceries. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like groceries were an extra. You have to eat to live, right? Anyway, and clearly I'm not eating ramen noodles, right? So that is why I've learned to make it happen on about 60 to max $70 a week. Low fat raw vegan for the win. High nutrients, do you understand? A wide variety of high nutrients. Anyway, healing and restoring my body, regenerating me to a pristine state. But anyway, so I was telling her her that, and um, I said, you know what? Because uh, my daughter and I have been talking about her making some different things happen in her life. And the thing is, people love to be in like, oh, you know what? Dang, my trunk's open. I'm going to have to shut that. I noticed that earlier, and then I thought, oh, I remember to do that. Hold on, please. Okie dokie, I'm back. So anyway, we were just talking about how she's wanting to make some changes. Well, she is making some changes and making things happen in her life. And I said, she has a very varying uh, schedule, okay? Which I could too, depending on what my work schedule looks like for the day. But no matter what my work schedule is, I'm going to get up early in the morning before everybody is up before the world's awake you know before people start blasting my phone before people they're not blasting my phone because they're not up yet because as soon as they are they're doing that right because they know I'm up um, so anyway before before the world wakes up I'm going to get stuff done before I was always rebounding now I'm either rebounding or going to the gym I'm getting all the laundry done every last piece okay I'm getting my plan for what's going to go into my body that day because now that I work from home I can do that before I would have done that in the evening you see so but the point is getting up you know because sometimes she'll say like well I, I didn't even um you know little baby got up at, at whatever time and I didn't even get to get a shower or whatever I'm like baby you could have done that like when my kids were little, I, I always worked, and I got up at that time of the day so I could always ensure basics, you know, that I got a shower, that I was ready for work, that I, but I was never um, in this kind of chaos state where it was like, get ready, get ready. It was like, no, I had every last stinking thing done, and then I would get them up like, it's magical Monday morning or it's terrific Tuesday because it was my desire in life to be a stay-at-home mom, to be that kind of mom. And I was never in the financial situation I thought at the time that I could do that. So I did my best to make it happen like that, you know, as if my whole waking them up experience was about them, not like, are you getting up? You know, and they're waking up to chaos. No, I wanted them to wake up to peace and joy. And that is what I provided, and I fought tooth and nail to make that happen. Whether I had to, you know, not watch TV at night and get my butt in the bed, not do whatever leisurely activity, not, I'm just saying to you, where there's a will, there's a way. This is what I was telling her, and she's in agreement of that, but um, 
she's had a little different schedule for the last last couple years, well, about the last year, and so, um, but I said to her on the text, I said, tomorrow is Monday, and it could be a brand new day. You get up before everybody else gets up and start making it happen. Make your life happen. Make your life happen. That's what you have to do. Here it is, June. This is the first week in June, okay? We're going into the second week. The year just turned over. We were just in last summer. We were just in the fall where you were thinking, well, you know, I've got all this stuff going on, and, um, you know, I've got all these holiday parties. I'll start one, and I've got all these, you know, and, and but, but you could really dream it up in your mind, like, oh my gosh, if I was like where I wanted to be, first of all, for everybody else, I could look the way I wanted to look for everybody else. I could be the way I wanted to be. I could serve them the way they wanted to be served. If I was this, it also equates to like you will love yourself when. I don't think that works. I think we've got to love ourselves right now, right where we are. Love ourselves up to the new standard. And clearly, raise your standards. You know, quit thinking it's okay to be okay. It's not okay to live just a life of mediocre. You know, that's not what we're put here on this earth to do. We're put here to thrive, to create, to love, to give, to share, to grow. We're not doing that, most people. We're just... We're just existing. So the point is, and I was telling her, tomorrow's Monday. It won't be when you see this, but it doesn't matter. Monday's coming. And I tell you what, it doesn't matter. The next hour's coming. The next minute's coming. The next breath is coming. The point is, now is the time. Here we are in June, and back then, what if you would've started then? And I don't mean started in your mind, though didn't follow through. That don't count. Actually, it does count, because you can do that a lot of times till you're sick of just thinking about it. And that was your stepping stone. Unless you use your stepping stone as a crutch, then you're never gonna walk straight, right? So the thing is, what if you'd have started back then? Where would you be today? What if you start today? Where would you be in six months? Furthermore, where would you be in 14 days? You could create a whole new you, a whole new vibrancy in your body, a whole new electricity about your life. Start setting up boundaries. Make yourself a plan and stick to the plan. Do you know what I'm saying? Are you picking up what I'm laying down? I was watching a video somebody made a comment on and they said, oh, what were you? I couldn't understand your accent at whatever minutes it was and I clicked on there to see what the heck I had said. <laughs> and I think I was saying the word oil, which is like the oil you put oil you put in your car. Christopher says I said say it says I say it funny, but anyway, um, that's how I sound. I can't help it. So anyway I clicked so I could interpret my slang country girl words. And it was a video I did when I first moved into my house I'm in, which has been a little over two years ago. This video was about two years ago, maybe minus a month. And I was talking about when is it going to be time? I was talking about the same thing I'm talking about today. And the only reason I'm talking about it is because I lived in that so long that it really lights a fire in me when I see somebody take words that somebody else said, whether it's mine, it's probably not mine, maybe whoever it is, and they turn it and internalize that into fuel to get them out of their rut, you know? I mean, it feels like everybody in the world, it's like on that movie Wally -E when he was scanning around, you know, the desolate, I guess it was the earth, and um, he was looking for collecting any, any matter that was alive. And there was this little weed growing out of, of the crack. It was the only piece of green, the only piece of life left. Do you ever feel like that? Like that's all that's left of you? You better grab hold and you better water it while you still can. 
before disease takes hold, before the disease you have is so strong on you, it's real hard to climb out of. Before the disease you have right now that's crippled you becomes four more that are real hard to climb out of, you know? What about that? What about starting tomorrow? What about today? What's the first step?